the Umbrella Academy or the Seven? Who do you got? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you are interested in all natural, organic, concentrated products such as energy drinks, gummy vitamins, toothpaste, etc. Make sure you visit my store, Lock Nation. The link is down below. We even sell beauty products. So if you still need to get a gift for your mother, we got masks, we got perfume. So make sure you check it out. Make sure you use my link to support me directly. Yo YouTube, what is good? Back at y'all with some Netflix slash Prime video content. We are going to be covering who will win a fight, the Umbrella Academy or the Seven. Now, I just want to put out that I did put out some Cobra Kai content. You know, who's going to win the All Valley Tournament in Season 4 and another video of why Hawk will and should win the All Valley Tournament. If you're a fan of Cobra Kai, you're a fan of Hawk. Check it out and subscribe to my channel because if you're a fan of Cobra Kai, you might as well subscribe because, you know, that's not the last of the Cobra Kai content. Same with the Umbrella Academy and the boys. So, if you're on this video, clearly you're a fan of at least one of those two. So, yeah, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on post more notifications. Now, let's get into the topic of this video. Now, there was a big YouTuber, I can't remember his name, but he did a video on who would win a fight between the Avengers and the Seven. I found that pretty obvious, but I watched anyway, and he broke it down very well, even how the fight would unfold, and it sounds like it would make a really good Avengers movie, but I don't remember who it was. I might leave the video on the screen in the description, but you can just hook up Avengers vs. the Seven. I'm pretty sure it's the first one that comes up. But no one I know of made a video on who won between the Seven and the Umbrella Academy. Now you can say it's because, oh it's obvious that the Seven would win, but I don't think that's the case. Now if we're talking Season 1 Academy versus Season 1 Seven, then yeah, I mean Five and Vanya are so powerful that they can put up a really good fight against anyone. But Season 1 man, you know, they were clearly very newbie with their powers. And, you know, they had no chemistry whatsoever. So, yeah, season one, yeah, I got the seven in that case. But season two really opened my eyes. You know, the opening scene of the Umbrella Academy, it, you know, they kind of teased us, you know? Like, we can actually see them appear to have their powers mastered, and they're working really good as a unit. And this is without five. They are destroying those Russian soldiers. Luther is able to take a missile to the back. Diego manipulating bullets. Allison manipulating reality. Klaus summoning multiple dead soldiers. And he still has dead Ben in his control. Like, yo, that scene was wild. And the Academy has insane potential. So, you can say that I'm basing my opinions on assumptions. But, the way the show's going, I think... You know, maybe even if they don't have their powers mastered, because them being dysfunctional and fighting is kind of like the thing on that show. But I can see them getting way better at chemistry and getting to know their powers a lot better. And I feel like the show builds that up and up and up. You know, like how Reginald brought up to Klaus, how he hasn't even scratched the surface. And Klaus like, I haven't even scratched the surface? Like how I just scratched that itch on my nose? You know... Yeah, I can see the Academy getting really strong. And we know that the Seven, they really lack chemistry because of their own individual egos and agendas. So, I'm kind of going to do what the guy with the Avengers vs. Seven did. I'm going to break down a scenario. I, <laughs> I actually think a crossover between the Academy and the boys can really work. So let me break it down for you. So, we're going to have some rules, you know, Translucent's dead, so, you know, he's not included, you know, plus, you know, Butcher beat his ass while he was invisible, like, is he really that good? So, the Seven, they'll have their Season 2 Seven, you know, they'll still have Starlight, even though she's betraying them, they can have Stormfront, even though uh, she's, like, disfigured, but we can have Stormfront in regular form, and the Academy... Just to level the playing field, because I know, based off assumptions, but I think it's pretty obvious, come Season 3, that Lila will become a member of the Academy. And we saw how powerful Lila is. So, you add Lila to the mix, 
because we saw she can mimic powers and it's like a better version of their powers. So imagine a better version of Homelander. That's pretty damn scary. So you can imagine how having Lila levels the playing field and now we have a conversation. So for those that saw the season 2 finale of The Boys, at, I really shouldn't have to do this, but spoiler alert, but if you click on these videos, like you gotta be all caught up on the shows. Like, come on man, like I hate when people complain about spoilers in the comments. Like, you know what you signed up for. Like, get off the video if you don't want a damn spoiler. And you know, we're almost six minutes in without before edits, so uh thank you for the average view duration. But anyway, <laughs> the season two finale of the boys. You know, so in the season two finale of The Boys, we remember that Maeve blackmailed Homelander with that video of him leaving those passengers on the plane for dead. Which, by the way, what a fucking scene. Like, that scene was phenomenal. But Homelander said that he will just kill everyone on Earth if that video gets out. So that made me think, what if that did happen? What if... She showed that video and Homelander actually killed everyone, but the Academy just happens to be in the same universe. Homelander causes the apocalypse. Yes, another apocalypse plot in the Umbrella Academy universe. But think about it, that is actually a realistic cause for what could cause the apocalypse. So Homelander can cause the apocalypse, so that puts him in the same universe, and the Academy's trying to figure it out, and you know, the seven, they look good to the media, so the Academy can't possibly suspect them. But what if somehow Huey and Butcher needed some numbers to compete with the Seven? You know, Starlight has proven that she could be a good soup, so what if they got the Academy and convinced them that the Seven's not all that good? You know? So now the Umbrella Academy got the advantage of having Butcher and his crew. So. There's that. So the Academy then finds out that the Seven ain't so good after all. So there are several scenarios to how the Academy can beat them really quick. Like for one, what if Allison just rumored Homelander to just murder the Seven and then himself? You see like, Allison can do that, you know, you, you guys aren't thinking. Now. Let's actually break down realistic season finale things. You know, I could talk about a whole season of how that can go down, but for the sake of time, because I know that this is shaping out to be a long video, but this is how the fight could go down. So, Lila is the most powerful. Homelander is the most powerful. So they'll be fighting. You know, Lila will mimic Homelander, how she mimicked five, and you know, she eventually got the upper hand on five. So, her and Homelander can fight. Now you would think, oh, she's more powerful version of Homelander, she should be him no problem. Well, Homelander is Homelander for a reason, and he knows himself better than anyone. So, that could actually still be a really good fun. I hope I don't get this name wrong. Black Noir. Yeah, he's a really good hand-to-hand -hand combat fighter. You know who else is? Diego. So, let's have them have a little fist fight, which surprisingly can be really good, because Diego has shown that he is really good in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now, Luther being... Big and strong, but also super clumsy. I could see him getting in with Adrian, and Adrian just running around, toying with him, annoying him. So let's have Luther go up against Adrian. Five versus Stormfront. Because, you know, with their personalities and their one liners, I could see them with some good dialogue, and Five being as good as he is. I think that could be a good fight. So let's have Allison and Vanya go up against Starlight and Maeve. And that leaves Klaus and Deep and uh, somehow I guess they can fight on a beach. So, we got the matchups. Let's break down how this will go down. Now, this is gonna hurt Seven fans. But, besides Homelander, the Seven was really not that strong. So, besides Homelander, you know, I know Black Noir is supposed to be really powerful. But they're not really showing that in the show. At least not yet. You know, he's gotten beaten pretty easily. But, yeah, Deep, he, he sucks. So Klaus would be with Ben. Ben can turn into a squid, so you know, he can, like, kill the fish and all. And Klaus can summon dead people. So why not Klaus summon the dead super terrorists 
and help him against Deep and maybe even like some fucking demon sharks. So I think Klaus can actually make quick work of Deep. Deep is dead. Now F Allison and Vanya, you know, Vanya is super powerful. Allison's kind of hanging back because she can't really fight that well. Maybe she's hanging back. Hopefully she can get a chance to rumor him. But Vanya, you know, is being good. She controls her anger better, hopefully. And doesn't look to kill. Now Starlight and Maeve we know are turning good. So realistically, maybe that they would... This fight probably wouldn't even happen realistically in the show. They would probably jump right to the Academy side, but just for the sake of entertainment, they fight. And maybe Allison could rumor Starlight and Maeve to be on their side. So, there's some numbers for the Academy. So, Starlight and Maeve join. Klaus killed Deep. Now, remember how Luther took a missile to the back, but in the finale, he couldn't take a bullet? So, remember how Lila said... You know, that got a lot of people talking. That maybe Luther's powers comes from his confidence. Let's assume he's super confident. So if he can take a missile to the back, let's say Adrian tries to run through him. It would be like running into a brick wall. So A-Train runs into Luther, assuming he doesn't have a heart attack by the time he does it. He's out. He either kills himself or he's just knocked out and they choose to kill him or not. But for the sake of this video, they kill him. So, Starlight and Maeve are on the Academy side, Deep and A-Train are dead. So Five and Stormfront are going at it. Five is really good at, you know, surviving and all that, but Stormfront is pretty powerful, so maybe Stormfront is giving Five some problems. But, Luther, Klaus, they are all free. So, they help Five. Starlight and Maeve kick Stormfront's ass and eventually kill her. Because, yeah. Diego is also fighting Black Noir. And Black Noir, let's face it, he's stronger than Diego. Black Noir is on the verge of killing Diego. And then, Luther X Machina. You know, he's slow and clumsy, but he's big and strong. So, you know, he can slam Black Noir around. And, you know, they got numbers upon numbers. So, Vanya used her telekinesis to pick him up and kills him. Black Noir is dead. So now it is down to Lyle versus Homelander. Now Homelander can survive and hold his own because he's Homelander. But at the end of the day, Lyle's just too powerful. She's beating the shit out of Homelander. And for the finishing blow, Allison comes over and rumors Homelander that his heart stopped beating. And Homelander is dead. Now, I know the Seven fans are going to say I'm delusional or whatever, but if you think about it, Lila really adds a lot to the Academy because she can actually take on Homelander because she can become more powerful than Homelander. And the Academy, with their potential, they can really beat the Seven because it was really just Homelander. Homelander is overpowered. The rest of the Seven, I'm telling you, they are not that strong. So, it's not far-fetched to think with someone that can match Homelander, and then the rest of it, you know, the Academy should beat the Seven very easily. You can agree, you can disagree, but one thing you can't deny, it's closer than you think, you know. Maybe it wouldn't be so one-sided like how I said, you know, in a perfect world, the Academy would just sweep them. Not to mention the Academy, they're actually heroes and the seven are technically villains so the plot probably would have the academy beat them if it was actually a crossover like that but uh yeah man i got the umbrella academy winning but what's the better show that's a that's actually a really close topic i think is actually more debatable in your eyes so let me know if you want me to make a video on which show i think is better so yeah man if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button or on post bell notifications, and you saw my little mini commercial in the beginning, you know, concentrated products like energy drinks, detergent, toothpaste, and all that. Um, everyday essential products, but concentrate, you know, I highly recommend you at least try it. So, you know, go to the link down below 
and try some of my stuff out, man. You know, I would really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. But, um, yeah, man, let me know what other content you want to see. And I'm out. Peace.